If you've heard of the DISC Profile Assessment, but don't really know how to use it for both employee recruitment and retention, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Heather R. Younger, and I am the author of The Art of Active Listening and CEO of Employee Fanatics. I want to talk to you today about the DISC Profile Assessment and how you can use it to create a better workplace environment and really understand your team and or those you want to recruit much more effectively. Before we delve into what a DISC profile assessment really is, let's first talk about why it matters to you as a leader for overall team success. As a leader, understanding your team members' personalities and communication styles can be a game changer. It allows you to build a more cohesive and productive team, increase employee satisfaction, and ultimately improve retention rates. In the DISC profile assessment, you get very keen insight into what your candidates want, what their communication preference is, and also what their work preferences are. By incorporating this assessment into your hiring process, you can identify candidates who align better with your team's dynamics and company culture. This reduces the chances of a bad hire and increases the probability of long-term employee success and satisfaction. It's a win-win for everyone. Now let's get to the heart of what a DISC profile assessment actually is and how it can help you. The DISC model puts people into four different categories based upon their communication preferences. The first is D for dominance, and this person is results driven, likes to move quickly, and likes to be successful. The second preference is influence, I, and this person is sociable, relatable, likes to be around people, moves quickly like the D does, and again, really values those interactions. The third preference is steadiness. And this person likes to be more deliberate in their decision-making and in their processes. They are uh, relatable to people, but they really wanna take things more slowly, be methodical, and they're really, really loyal people. The fourth and final preference is someone who is conscientious. This is someone who really focuses on data, precision, accuracy, and they're gonna move at a more methodical pace like the S does as well. The important thing to remember is that there is no one better style over the other. In fact, all of us have a little bit of each of the preferences inside of us. So there you have it, one brief and basic overview of DISC profile assessments. By incorporating this into your leadership toolkit, you'll be able to increase communication effectiveness in your team, really build team cohesion, and understand who is on the bus and what they're meant to do there. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you can become a leader who leads by example and build a winning culture in the meantime. Be well.